Hello, everybody, and welcome back to LWC Super Champ. So we have a 141-pound matchup for you. It's Thailand taking on Myanmar in our fifth fight of the evening. In the blue corner, we have Hala Win. He is 32 years old, 174 centimeters tall, 66 fights in his record, 41 victories, 15 defeats, and 10 draws. He is from Myanmar, but he's training at a family Muay Thai gym in Bangkok. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He goes by the name of Gulab Damsal Reng Chai. 31 years of age, 177 meters tall. Has tall 72 fights, 66 victories, 5 losses, and 1 draw. Currently training at Sao Reng Chai, and he's from Nakhon Ratchasima province. Seen actually Cole Halla wins uh, last fight, winning by knockout spectacularly. But that was with Kachuk on. Now he's got gloves on. Let's see what he could do with them. I'm assuming he just walks forward, complete power puncher, wants to board his opponent, opponents. Correct. Brilliant. Kalabdam, though, complete polar opposite. Fema fighter, really likes to fight, have to pick his opponent apart. He's a tactician, can adapt very well to any style of fighter that he comes up against. So let's see who is gonna, whose tactics are going to fare for them and get the victory here at LWC Super Champ. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is three three-minute rounds. So our fight next, the main event of the evening, is going to be five three-minute rounds as Thailand takes on Iran. But we'll have to get through this one first before we get there. Correct. Interested to see how this fight will go, though. Hello, winner, no nonsense. Karen fighter from Miyawadi. Then we got Gulab Dam, as you said can adapt to a lot of situations. And lots of fights on Halawin's record, and I'm assuming that he's fought a lot in left way, which is the national sport of Myanmar, because there's a lot of draws on his record, and in left way, there's no losers. You either win or you draw. Yeah, that's the uh, traditional rules, of course, but um, the modernization of sport has changed things, but a lot of, most of the fights, of course, are still, um, well, if, if you don't knock someone out, it's a draw. There you go. I was about to say, the only way to really win in left way in the traditional way is to knock them out. Correct. It's like Muay Thai. Traditionally, five rounds, and um, now we have shows like this, and three rounds are really becoming the biggest thing now. Or have become the biggest thing, I must say. And it's taken about 10 years for that to come into effect. Correct. Just over 10 years now since it started 10 years ago in Ma with Max Muay Thai and Patea, and also Thai Fight 2. All right. So finally, we have a southpaw versus an orthodox. So that means the better footwork from one of these fighters will give them a slight advantage. If you're, if you're Halal Win, who is the southpaw fighter, he wants to step to his right so he can land his left hand. And it's the opposite for Gulab Dam, who wants to step to his left so he can land his right. Yeah, has to be careful, Halal Win, with those kicks. He's not used to those. The one thing he doesn't like the most, I asked him, he said he doesn't like having gloves on. Understandable. All right, hand connects there for Gulab Dam. See, this is great experience here from Halloween. Touching the glove there of Gulab Dam just so he can get his range. When we saw this earlier with a power puncher, Rustam Daminov, who didn't really do anything like that, just winged it with his power punches and his haymakers, and he got caught a few times by Nin, who is our tournament finalist that we'll see in fight number seven. So there you go, touch guard, touch guard, get in at your range, and then you can land a shot. Another kick connects there for Gulab Dam. Yeah, this is one of those fights that I like where uh, styles clash. Yeah, same. You can see Kolabdan pulling away a bit here and finding a very fluid rhythm with that right body kick, connecting with it multiple times in this round. And I think Halawin has just made it known very early on that he doesn't want to be in the clinch against Kolabdan. Kolabdan, despite being a female fighter or a technician, they call it, he's very well versed in the clinch and knee game. Going for another knee there, Kolabdan. Right hand to connect though for Halawin. Kick there for Gulab Dam as Halawin tries to close the distance. But Ali, is he taking too long to do that? 
I think he is taking a little bit too long, just touching the glove so many times. You may as well just land with a powerful punch. And I wasn't sure about that kick there coming in from Halawin. Missing with the kick now, Gulab Dam. But the right hand lands, and that could be a count. No, referee say, rules it a slip. And that is the end of the first round. Here we go, coming into the second round of action. It's Halawin in the blue corner and Gulab Damsal Rangshai in the red. Clash of styles in this match. Kind of one guy, very good with his hands, and the other, very good with his kicks and knees. And so far, I have to say, the kicks and knees are winning. Yeah, I have to agree. I think Halawin taking his time a little bit too much in the first round. But let's see if he can mix things up and be a bit more aggressive in round two. The kick earlier from Halawin looked more like a Takao kick than an, a Muay Thai kick. Desperation, that's what that was. Certainly felt like it. Let's see if Halawin can change things here in the second round. Jeez, what makes me laugh is when we have the one championship fight night, the one fight night shows here in the morning, the confetti just keeps on falling out of the ceiling. And he's been doing that for months now. Good knees here from Gulab Dam. Another knee from Gulab, three in a row. Tell Gulab Dam really loves those knees. Another kick by Gulab Dam. Halloween trying to dish out punishment, but his shots not really connecting very well. Again, missing with those shots and diving into those shots. Good knee to the top of the head there by Gulab Dam. Obviously, Halloween style is a lot more crowd pleasing and more entertaining, but you've got to admire the experience of Gulab Dam. He's not doing too much, but when he does strike, he's landing with so much effect. Great elbow there! And Halawin is down. So well timed there from Kulab down, who mixed it up and landed the right up and elbow. And Halawin is out. There's very few things in this world that are better than a well timed elbow like that. That was beautiful. That was picture perfect. Crisp. Outstanding, I would say, even. I mean, Kevin, I'm so shocked it's almost knocked me out. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what an elbow there from Gulab Dam. We need to see it on the replay again and again and again. That was, it was just that good. And there it is, absolutely perfect, the timing of it. I mean, he's seen Halawin pounce into shots time and time again in the second round without much thought, I must say, but he finally made him pay the price for it with that stunning elbow. And that just goes to show being a tactician like Kulab Dam is being a technical fighter. That was probably the first elbow that he threw and it landed with supreme effect, winning him the fight. Sometimes it doesn't take much. It's quality over quantity sometimes in Muay Thai and Kulab Dam just showed us that. Okay, we'll get the decision and we'll roll into the main event very shortly. See you soon. นี่คืออาวุธที่ 2 พลังที่สุดอีกหนึ่งอาวุธในแฮนด์ของแม่ไม้มวยไทยนั่นเองนะครับ
วันนี้เห็นเลือดก็เห็นแล้วศอกก็มาแล้วเรียบร้อยคู่ต่อไปห้ามพลาดนะครับคู่เอกของรายการครับไตบาลังแชมป์ลุมินีพิกัด147ปอนด์ครับนนทชัยจิตเมืองนนครับขุนข่าวแข้งทะเลเดือดจากชุมพรครับวันนี้จะกับอาเรเซาอาเมซาเดครับนักชกจอมทรหดจากอิหร่านวันนี้ไทยกับอิหร่านเจอคู่หนึ่งแล้วครับใครจะคว้าชัยสักครู่เดียวกับ LWC Super Champ